charged with reviewing the state's prison contracts met for the first time today. 16 WAPT's Burt Case reports their recommendations could affect multiple state agencies. We know a lot of the players. The first meeting with the Emergency Corrections Task Force. What took place with the contracts of single sources, for example, previously that have uh, brought us to this point. I want them to review everything. There are a number of contracts. Governor Bryant says there are no restrictions on what they'll be digging into. Hopefully we can clean up a mess. Uh, there was a lot of corruption at the Department of Corrections. Former Attorney General Mike Moore has been tapped and he has served as a state watchdog before. Hopefully we can come up with some strong regulations and laws that will prevent some of this stuff, uh, stop some of the practices. So I think it's really a mess. One task force member, retired attorney Constance Slaughter Harvey, made it clear she feels this commission can ferret out corruption in other areas even outside the prison system. Public corruption is public corruption, corruption regardless of where it's located. And uh, unless we have the systems intact and the process complete and there not be any exceptions, this will happen. Uh, I'm, I'm really concerned that uh, it, it, it may be somewhere else. Republican commission member and political commentator Andy Taggart says what the governor wants is some guidelines all over state government. He wants us to come back to him with recommendations for addressing the public procurement process in the Department of Corrections, which sort of necessarily would affect all of state government. So this task force appointed by Governor Phil Bryant has the unprecedented task of coming up with a way to keep this sort of corruption from happening in the future. Board Case 16 WAPT News at the